Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I am gracing you from my car this morning. We are off on a little day trip. We're gonna to go to the Cotswolds for the day today. I think we're gonna have a wander around a couple of the villages, maybe take a little trip to the farm shops around the area and just have a lovely festive day really. We've just stopped off at Greg's <laughs> because there's literally nowhere to stop on the way. We were hoping for the Starbucks drive through but the one by our house was absolutely packed so we didn't um, bother with that. I think we would have added an hour onto our journey if we would have stopped. So yeah, we're going to get a, a Greg's. God knows what Mike's going to bring me out. It'd be something random. <laughs> so it was going to be a nice day. I find that that type of area of the country is just perfect at this time of year. We actually stayed at a lovely hotel in Broadway um, a couple of years ago and that was around Christmas time and it was just beautiful. I'm really looking forward to today. It's going to be a really lovely day to feel festive, I'm hoping. See the boys are in the background. I don't know why Max has jumped that so They were both sat so nicely on the back seat, but yeah. Oh, here he comes with the goods. I wonder what he's got. It's gonna be funny. Hello. Oh, thank you. What did you get, my little love bug? I got Ooh. you loads of stuff because I know you. Well, I've got a Greg's pasty, which is very lovely. Is that a festive site? You have psych? to eat the square one. That's a festive bake, I can tell. Is it not? Yes, it is. <laughs> and a sausage roll and two sandwiches. So yeah. Very not, not good for my chins, but yeah, all good. So yeah, once we're there and there's something a bit more scenic to show you, I will let you know how we're getting on. Maximus. He's so envious that he's not in the front. Oh, I can't wait for this. Actually, can I have the festive? Yes, bike? it's for you, mate. Get that week leading up to Christmas is super The old butcher looks nice. Cut, isn't it? Well, here's the thing if you are kind of planning when you're going to do that shopping, it would be nice also.
doggy section. And the boys are very excited. That's a nice toy. Last by two minutes, not nice. It's a nice toy. slaughter and it's so so cute I absolutely love it so just thought we'd take the dogs for a quick walkies before we head off um, we went to the Delsford as well which was lovely but it was very very busy but yeah it's absolutely stunning we actually almost got married in the slaughter manor um, I loved it I don't know why we didn't to be honest it was lovely is gorgeous. I definitely would recommend if you're in the Cotswolds, take a trip. The tree is out of the garage. This is our tree from home base. It's the 7.6 Norway spruce. And yeah, bought this last year. Hello. Sit. What's this? Are you excited for Christmas? It's your first Christmas. I wonder what he's going to be like with the tree. I bet you he's going to knock it and just <laughs> be a little, a little rascal, I think, aren't you? Hey? You gonna be a rascal? Yeah.
Okay, so these are my box of decorations, which I had from last year and some from like years and years ago. The colours for the front room are usually the tones of the little pheasant. Um, I got this one last year. And yeah, so I usually use those sort of tones. I bought quite a few lovely new decorations last year to add to this. So yeah, Max has never seen a decoration before, so he's very um, intrigued by everything. No, let's not bite them. Oh dear, it's gonna be carnage. Yeah, so I think I'm going to carry on and decorate. The only thing I'm missing at the moment are my twigs, which I usually put twigs into the, just all over the tree to be honest. Um, so yeah, I'm missing those. So I will need to go and forage some nice little twigs. And then I'll be done, I, I think. So I'm going to go and decorate this now and show you the finished result. some beauty products because it was my birthday and I was treated to some Elemis which is my absolute favourite. I love Elemis. This one is the Rose Cleanser which I've had before but I've not had this for ages so and look oh, this is so satisfying when it's like brand new, never been touched. So I'm going to use that now um, and I've also given this Elemis Christmas set. That's the thing about having a birthday around Christmas, you usually do get Christmas sets, <laughs> but I'm not mad about it because this is lovely. Um, I got the Pro Collagen Marine Cream and the Pro Collagen Night Cream, which again, I've used so many times. This must have got through about, I well, got through a lot of them. Oh, that's so nice, it looks gorgeous. Look at that, lovely present. Imagine having that on Christmas Day. Be lovely. So I got that. I also, in the little bag, got 
a LMS free gift with some samples in. So yeah, I thought that was really, really good. And it came with a facial wash, which is lovely because usually I double cleanse. I don't actually, oh, I'm running out of all my cleansers. At the moment, I'm just using this one, if I can get it. This is the Clarins Purify and Gentle Foaming Cleanser for like oily to combination skin. So yeah, I've just been using this. And yeah, I've used this loads of times before again. Um, and then I tone with the Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner, which I've only got a little bit left. So I need to buy another one of those. So yeah, it'd be nice to use a different face wash once my uh, Clarins ones run out. And then I got another travel size of the night cream. Travel size of the day cream, well, pro collagen cream. The superfood face mask, which is really gonna be lovely because I want to purchase a face mask soon. I just have been like looking online and sort of like dithering over which one to get. Um, and I've got some more of the Claire, of the LMS oil, which I love. These are my personal fave. The resurfacing pads, love those. Used to use, literally, I used to use this religiously. It's just like, I think you just stop buying things for yourself like all the time. And I just really need to get in the habit of really treating myself again to all these products. And then I've got a mini of like the original cleansing bar, which is like the yellow one. And I also had some samples. So I've had, I've done very well in the uh, elements department. Free sample of the Moisture Essence, the Superfood Exfoliator, and the this one I've never heard of, the Ultra Smart Pro Collagen Aqua Fusion Mask. I don't think I've had this before. I've had the Pro Collagen Mask, but I've not had the Ultra Smart one. So I think that might be new. So yeah, I'm going to try those as well at some point. But yeah, I just thought it'd be cute to like maybe get ready and get ready for night time. I've got my PJs on. These are from Chelsea Pierce, which is one of my favourite PJ brands. I've also got these exact same ones in like a cream. But yeah, I love it. Love like silky PJs, you can't really go wrong, can you? I'm just gonna cleanse away the day. I just absolutely love it when it's a brand new cleanser. And, uh, even that smells nice. So lovely. I just love, like, this is my probably my absolute favourite brand in the world for, for skincare. It's my favourite. Can't go, you can't go wrong. I had a lot of, like, Beauty Pie stuff recently because I did a big order. Um, and, yeah, some of it was nice, but none of, it's, none of it compares to my LMS, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I'm just going to lens with this one so I usually just use like the back of my finger really um, and I use a tiny tiny bit I just do one blob one blob one blob one blob so yeah really nice this one smells just divine absolutely divine and then you literally just rub it in I've got like quite a full face of makeup on because I was out pretty much all day today. Oh, I just love the smell of LMS. You cannot beat it in my opinion. You really, really cannot beat it. Any sort of spa brand just gets me. I'm such a sucker for a spa brand. Now typically, I probably would have cleansed prior to doing this, like I would have, um, use like my facial wash or something and then use the cleansing balm as like a double cleanse um but yeah i don't always do that but normally i would do that so yeah rub all this off here wash all this off in the sink and then i hate making the towel dirty it makes me so sad especially when it's lovely and clean and like fresh and new. The good thing about the cleansing balm is that you can use it as a mask. So you can, if, you're, if you've obviously not got as much makeup as I've got on now, you could um, keep that on for a bit. So if you've got, say cleansed and then use this as your double cleanse, you could keep this on for a little bit and use it as a mask. 
um, which I find is like really good. And then just like with a hot towel. <laughs> takes literally everything off. Disgusting. It's actually the worst thing ever. Oh, this is like the best. Oh, I don't know why, it's, I don't know if it's just me, but I find like taking the day off of my face. One of the best parts of the day. Absolutely love it. Really, really enjoy it. I might actually go and have a bath after this. Um, once I've like taken my makeup off. Because yeah, I just really fancy like a nice warm bath. I feel like it's finally getting cold enough now to like start warranting putting the heating on and warranting doing all this stuff. But still like deep down I'm like, oh my god, I cannot like bring myself to put the heating on. I'm just petrified of what the bill's gonna be. I'm sure I'm not the only person. But um yeah I work I work from home so I need to put it on soon because I'm absolutely freezing all day long. Look how dark my eyes are underneath. I need to have an early night I think. Get rid of these bags. <laughs> should I double cleanse again? Maybe I should double cleanse. Should we just try everything? Let's just try everything out. Let's try... What's this one? Facial wash and refining. Ooh, let's try this. This needs some refining actually because I've noticed I'm getting like lots of little spots around my chin, which I think is normal because I have been having quite a lot of chocolate treats. Right, let me wash my face again. I should have put my hair up, shouldn't I? I'm gonna regret this now. I think this was one of the first cleansers that I used when I started um, using Elemis, like way back when. I first found the brand when I was watching like QVC. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else watches that. Um, I don't watch it anymore to be honest with you, but I know that they do a lot of really, really good deals, especially on Elemis stuff. So yeah, I used to I used to go on there all the time and buy like big bundles of it, and that's where how I got so hooked. Oh, that smells divine. I love it. I think I'm gonna treat myself this month to a hydrofacial. Um, because I didn't have one last month when I should have really but yeah I'd love to have a, a facial but like in the winter months your skin really needs it nice and cleansed oh that's hot got my fingers off should we just go all out and put the make mask on as well why not It's off because of my nails. Oh, I thought that, um, oh, a green mask. Lovely, chubbly. Oh, I love green masks. Oh, this is lovely. Smells great. Very herby. What's in it? Nourishing probiotic mask. Wow. See, companies that are really good with their samples just speak my language because I'll go, if I like this, I'll go ahead and buy all the masks. I'm one of those type of customers. Directions, leave for 10 minutes. Okay. Well, in the 10 minutes that this is on my face, I think I'm going to go and run my bath, put my bubble bath in. <laughs> And yeah, let that fill up a bit and then I will cleanse. No, I won't cleanse. I've cleansed, I think I will cleanse out. I'm gonna use my Pro Collagen Night Cream once I've got my mask off, which is this one. Um, I love this, it's lovely. Hydrating night cream. Oh, I just noticed such a good difference when I am consistent with a routine. I think it just makes all the difference to your skin health and yeah, I've really noticed lately that my skin is just not looking ideal. So 
yeah, I'm just gonna marinate in this and then I'll probably speak to you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>